Live Healthy is brought to you by Kirk Supermarket and Pharmacy. Welcome back to Daybreak. It is now time for our Live Healthy segment here on the show. And Andrea Hill, of course, is here to tell us more about how to keep up our diet, especially for the new year. Mm -hmm. She's going to tell us how to save calories. I don't understand, so <laughs> please shed light. <laughs> well, this is definitely time of year, as you say, Delisa, where you know we're working towards those weight loss resolutions. We're trying to put them into practice. The big thing with weight loss is truly you got to save those calories, okay. right? We can quite easily, you know, sweat on the treadmill for 30 minutes burn about 200 to 300 calories depending on your body size mm -hmm. but then if we you know go and sneak those cookies and then we have that second plate of dinner we're right back to square one that'll be me right so we, we want to get people beyond that and and show them how just some simple approaches can save you a hundred calories and by doing that if you think of it the cumulative effect at the end of the week could mean 700 plus calories saved through your diet where you don't really realize it. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so let's start with the bagel. <laughs> this is very interesting. This is good. This is good. This is our sort of standard size bagel these days. These are huge. Okay. And they're wheat. And if, if we were to read the label on this, what you would get out of this is the equivalent of about three to four slices of bread. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of people out there would not be eating three or four slices of bread for breakfast. Not at all. So your best That's way to save over a hundred calories is to switch to a mini bagel. And they're very cute, first of all. They are very cute. <laughs> and these little things are literally the equivalent of two slices of bread. Wow. Yeah, they look mini, but they're still two slices Do you know that's worth. very surprising because you see a lot of people who go to the cafes and such and just mm -hmm. devour. Exactly. The huge ones, the big ones. Right. You don't realize it and we need to be aware that our portion sizes have increased enormously and us with it, yes. unfortunately. Oh my goodness. So we need to be aware of this. And what's a good thing too, I actually have had these mm -hmm. and I've added a little bit of peanut butter to it. Great. Great, so, good and staying even power. almond butter as well. Yeah, peanut butter is fine. Great staying power, good fiber, good um, oils, mm -hmm. you're good to go. And it adds that little bit of taste. Right, well. right. Okay. So moving on to our juice. Now a lot of people will just grab something like this out the door, there's a fruit for the day. Bear in mind there are already two servings in this little carton, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to double up everything on this label. But if, if instead you were to just eat an orange versus drinking the juice, you'd get more fiber, you'd save yourself over 120 calories. Wow. Okay? Wow. That's a very easy thing to, to change as Definitely. well. Very easy fix to your breakfast. Quick. Instead of snacking on raisins, that are already dehydrated, the water's out of them, they're higher in sugar, so you're gonna have that craving for more sweetness. Mm -hmm. Why not swap it for about a half cup of grapes, more water, more chewing, more fiber. You're gonna save yourself over 100 calories just by doing fresh. this. And it's fresh. And it's fresh. tastes delicious. Exactly, exactly. In a pinch, I mean, a raisin can work, obviously, but we're just talking about the numbers here. Mm -hmm. okay. Go and get yourself a nice bag of grapes, because yeah. it's yummy. They're very good. Very good. Okay. okay. So this is an easy one. Um, people can do this anywhere. This is a half cup serving of pasta. Wow. Okay. Now, if if we could just switch our brown rice or a whole wheat pasta, just reduce it to a half cup serving, we would save ourselves over 100 calories just by doing that. Just by reducing your portion, not swapping it for anything else. So you can still have your rice and yes. everything else. Yes. But a half a cup. Just a half a cup. So it gives you so a all visual. The, okay. So all the carb visual. lovers. Yes. Who can't eliminate. The carbohydrate. Yeah, yeah. You have your answer. You have you have the option. You yes. have the option to still include it. All right. And I realize that people like their dessert. Oh yes, this is <laughs> the weakest part. And this is a really interesting one. So I've I've gotten same types of brands. So there's no you know hey you know one brand over another here. Right. But if you were to swap your ice cream dessert for a fruit sorbet which has no fat in it, you're definitely saving yourself well over a hundred calories. Now. What's this, Delisa? <laughs> this is the serving of this ice cream. This is the serving. That we should have. This is our serving. This is a scoop. This is about a half cup measure. So swap oh, it one goodness. for the other. If you feel you need a little bit more, you know, slice some strawberries over top or Fresh something. Fruit. Give, give yeah. yourself a little a little extra. Okay. But this is this is how we need to go about some of these substitutions to get it to get those calories saved. And for some of us, this might be a little bit of a teaser, mm -hmm. you know, a tongue teaser, mm -hmm. a taste bud teaser. Mm -hmm. But it's better to have the teaser than to not have it at all. Exactly, you don't want to feel deprived, you want to have options. These are mm -hmm. options, hopefully people could use them. And I'm saying that to someone that has told me, don't eat it, period. <laughs> I'm gonna have my little bit of ice cream. <laughs> Way to go. I'm just saying. 
I'm rooting okay. for everybody else out there who's suffering just like me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. So with that, yeah. what are the last words for all those people out there who are still